Hello, everybody. Um, a quick pop up live, 15 minutes late, because for some reason my Logitech webcam here will not connect. So I can't do the thing down on the workbench. So, very quick, uh, very quick live. And it is going to be very quick because I can smell my dinner, my lunch cooking in the in the kitchen. So, ooh, we have a box has turned up. Now, what's in it, you're asking? Good question. I'm hoping it's what I think it is in here. Otherwise, it could be quite embarrassing. So, let us... Ooh, it's like Christmas Day, only without the arguments. And the hangovers. I saw a box, by the way. I, if this is what I think it is, I ordered it yesterday and it's turned up today, which is remarkable service. Oh, for goodness sake, let's get, let's get a Swan Morton in there. This is what they call on the internet an unboxing video. It's also what they call on the internet watching a middle aged man from Dudley trying not to stab himself live. There we go. It is indeed what I ordered on Monday, which was down for being arriving on the. Thursday the 25th, but it has arrived the next day. So we are going to give a big shout out, first of all, to Creative Models, because that's who I ordered it from. I ordered it off of them on eBay, and that has arrived within 24 hours. So that is exceptional service. So thank you, Creative Models. I've always wanted one of these. What a nice little box, by the way. I might save that for mailing. Um, I wanted one of these for years, and so I finally got around to ordering one to talk about with Mr. Pollard on Wednesday. We've got some comments here. Paul Milligan afternoon. Yeah, I have every exciting. Uh, Paul Bennett, big moment. The tension is unbearable. Yeah, well, uh, let's hope this isn't an anticlimax. So, this is one of the newer Hella boxes. At least the packaging on this appears to be better than the last uh, Hella, uh, kind of newish Hella kit that I bought, which was the Fokker Wolf Stosa, the FW56. Packaging on that was dreadful. It was just so dour. And, um, well, that's nice. Look, they've got a, a little thing there. Fabrique en France. I'd like to be able to lift that without. I think I can. Lift that without breaking. That's good. I'll sort of sticker there. We'll keep that. So, stand by for the garishly molded in yellow plastic. Are you ready? 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 Surprise! Surprise! It's actually molded. Well, it's actually molded in a very matchbox esque. Very matchbox s this. Uh, those of you who remember the P51, it's a kind of like a very pearlescent, pale blue-gray plastic. Um, let's be honest. This, unless there's a sprue missing, that's it. That's the kit. That is the epitome of simplicity. Pretty much, you're going to get this assembled in the space of an evening. But that is... I'm just having a quick look at it. Beautifully delicate. I mean, this was, this was peak Hella from the 1970s. That is absolutely beautiful. We'll take some photographs and put them up later on. But, boy, is this simple. This is absolutely simple. But it's beautifully done. I mean, it's raised panel lines, yes. But this, like I say, this is peak Hella from the 1970s. Nice single-piece canopy here. Let's take that out of the bag. Separately wrapped, a separately wrapped canopy as well, which is a nice touch. But beautifully moulded canopy uh, looks to be in very good condition and actually quite reasonably clear. 
So unlike the uh, the Dora Wings Percival Proctor that I'm building at the moment, which has like a million piece canopy, I, I appreciate Hella molding that in one. Now the make or break moment. Well, they, uh, well, let's let's prolong that for a moment. Uh, some very nice, almost Airfix esque artwork here. Um, so there we have a nice Austrian one, a very, very nice Finnish one. In fact, Hella did a separate boxing of this with Finnish artwork because Finland is actually quite a big market for them. Um, another Finnish one and a rather dandy Swedish one, naturally, because these this is a Swedish aircraft and it's in the it's in that kind of Swedish grey and green camouflage. There should also be uh -huh, the one that I want to do, which is oh look at that. A lovely Norwegian one. That's the one I'm gonna be building. Gotta say, compared to the last Hella kit that I bought, well, the, the Focke Wolf Stosa from the previous packaging, this is a million percent improvement. This is, it's light, it's clear, it's very well illustrated. That's fabulous. I, I will have to dig out the Stosa to show you just how dire that was. It was really just not very impressive at all, as indeed were the decals. Now, make or break time, because Hella, I was discussing this with Mr. Pollard on Wednesday, not known for great decal sheets. So have they improved or have they not improved? That's that this is like this is like the weakest link. Uh, yeah, this is a hell of a kit, all right. Pretty dreadful. I mean, I am thankfully might be able to get away with the no, we, no, I can't get away with the Norwegian ones. Oh, that's so disappointing. I mean, look at those Swedish roundels. That is absolutely hopeless. Ironically, the, the probably the one that you can you well, even there, look, on the Austrian ones, you can see where the trap underneath has left you with, like, dark surrounds. The Finnish ones now you've got half moon there from where the traps come out the sweet the norwegian one almost usable but where you've got like a yellow surround for the codes where they go over the 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 red areas you can see they're just hopelessly out of register that's really really disappointing because they actually look the actual kind of sharpness of them is very good but the registration is just absolutely awful and it looks like they're using really really thin inks i mean you look at that 10 on the end there actually i don't even think that's got a trap underneath it i don't think any of those have got a trap underneath it i get the feeling that these are they look to be litho printed yeah they're litho printed i can see that i can see the screen pattern what people describe as a dot matrix it's not dot matrix it's it's a it's the litho screen pattern from where they're kind of derived from processed colors and that is disappointing that's really really disappointing which means i'm going to have to source some aftermarket decals so swings and roundabouts i did say in my little mai op-ed a couple of months ago about hella being mercurial there you have seen live on the internet how they can they can improve so much beautiful packaging i really like that packaging that's that yellow is eye-catching you go into a model shop you're going to see that a bit like the red airfix boxing that's that's brilliant fantastic um that's what the decal sheet should look like but unfortunately it is utterly unusable so we're going to have to go online and try and find some replacement decals. Um, yeah, Vincent says, ouch, decals are not great at all. Uh, yeah, that's a real shame. Yep. Uh, Anthony Bird says, I have the same decal issue with the hotel taxi version. Out of line, but there's an understatement. I requested a plane, but they're still I'm not sure they'll be any better. 
Um, <laughs> it's an emotional roller coaster. Well, we're going to have some food now. Uh, what a deck of shame. Um, yeah, Ian, Ian, absolutely bang on here. Such a shame as they clearly made a real effort with the packaging instructions. Yeah, uh, and it's fabulous. Unfortunately, it's also the one, there are the one aspects of the kit that actually, if, if they're not up to scratch, they don't affect the actual building of the model, whereas obviously the decals do. That's, I mean, well, we're going to be talking about this on Wednesday night, Mr. Pollard, because can I, can I mention it? Yeah, because obviously being somebody who works with decals, I've got experience of Hella and their decal printing. So that's, uh, hey ho, let's not be downhearted. I'm sure there are aftermarket, well, there are aftermarket sheets out there, um, which is effectively going to double the cost of this project, but never mind. I could see myself building an another couple because that isn't that, isn't that pretty? That is just beautiful. Um, so it's, this is just going to be a, a straight out of the box kind of build. I'm not going to do a Mike Grant. Um, but oh, just so close and yet not quite there. Um, just use our cartograph. Best decision Airfix ever did. Yes. Anyway, that's it. That's it was a very, 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 very quick pop up live today just to show you that Hella Saab 91 Sophia. So, like I say, tomorrow night, Mr. Pollard and myself will be talking things Hella. I'm going to try and work out why my Logitech is not talking to the MacBook at the moment. Uh, I wonder if it's the cable or something. No idea. That's really annoying. So on that to note, just arrange for me to say, uh, stay safe, stay out of trouble. We'll see you all tomorrow evening. And we'll be putting up pictures of this on the, uh, on the Facebook page. So we'll see you all later. Bye for now.